Hi and welcome to the course on digital communications from beginner to expert. In this course, we give a comprehensive and detailed view of the general structure of digital communication systems, including transmitter and receiver structure designs, as well as the different types of processing blocks that may be encountered in communication systems. In particular, it covers topics like real and complex random vectors, single space representations and advanced digital modulation, demodulation techniques such as amplitude shift keying ASK, phase, uh, phase shift keying PSK, frequency shift keying FSK, binary phase shift keying BPSK, multiple amplitude sh uh, shift keying MASK, multiple phase shift keying MPSK, multiple frequency shift keying MFSK, quadrature phase shift keying QPSK, quadrature amplitude modulation, QAM, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, OFDM, OFDM index modulation, OFDM subcarrier number modulation, OFDM subcarrier power modulation, and MIMO special modulation. In addition, the course covers digital data transmission over noisy and fading channels, as well as the design of ideal transceivers for recovering the received data. Moreover, the calculation of key performance metrics in digital communication systems such as bit error probability, data rate, and throughput are also explained and discussed in this course. More specifically, the covered topics in the course are listed as follows. Lesson 1. Introduction to the basic processing blocks in digital transceiver systems, source coding, channel coding, modulation, pulse selection, synchronization, detection, demodulation, recording, and equalization. Lesson 2 includes the more details about a basic processing blocks plus quantization and analog to digital conversion. Lesson 3 quantization noise and its probabilities distribution function PDF in pulse code modulation. Lesson 4 includes non uniform quantization plus advantages of PCM plus line codes and de encoding. Lesson 5 consists of time division multiplexing TDM. Lesson 6 consists of digital multiplexers and their different types. Lesson 7 includes data modulation, concept advantages, disadvantages, and solutions. Lesson 8 uh, talks about the linear prediction filters. Lesson 9 consists of baseband pulse transmission match filters. And Lesson 10 uh, talks about the probability of errors over AWGN channel. 11 consists of intersymbol interference and raised cosine pulse shaping filter. Lesson 12 includes correlative level dual binary coding for doubling channel capacity. Lesson 13 includes addressing the drawbacks of correlative level dual binary coding. Lesson 14 includes passband data transmission and basic concepts of digital modulation. Lesson 15 consists of new types of carriers and features of dig for digital modulation IM, NM, and SM. Lesson 16 is about the binary phase shift. King lesson 17 includes the quadrature phase shift king. Lesson 18 includes offset and shifted quadrature phase shift king. And lesson number 19 talks about the M array phase shift king and an M array quadrature amplitude. Lesson 20 includes the non coherent modulation, transmission, and detection of non coherent BFSK. Lesson number 21 talks about the non coherent differential binary phase shift king and detection. So the course basically covers the general structure of digital communication systems, real, real and complex random vectors, signal space representations, digital modulation, demodulation techniques, digital data transmission over noisy channels and ideal received receiver design, the bit error probability in digital data communication, digital trans different transmission techniques and basic limits of data communication. We are very excited to have you with us on this journey and look forward to seeing you enrolled in this unique and interesting course that takes you from beginner level to expert and professional level.